Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So, this is going to be a general energy reading for Tuesday, February 26th, 2019. This is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, this doesn't have to be something that will resonate with you today just because it's a message that's coming through today. This is just what spirit wants to speak with us about in this moment okay in time is an illusion energies are fluid so this could be something that's happening today or at least going on currently in your life it could be something that's coming on down the pipeline it could be something you went through in the past it could be something that's not even going to happen for you at all who knows only you do really so take what resonates and leave what doesn't yes so um, I'm going through a little bit of a price decrease for readings, just so you're aware. Um, uh, I believe it's already, some of it's already posted in, in, in the description box, but if you really want, would like to know, you know, what's changed and what hasn't, go ahead and shoot me an email. If you would like to get a reading and you find the description box situation a little confusing, go ahead and shoot me an email. Still working on getting a website going, but that'll happen. Everything in due time, everything in divine timing. Yes? Okay, guys. So I believe that's it. Um, yeah, let's just get started with the reading here. Alrighty. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Tuesday, February 26th, 2019. I'm seeing green today, and um, it's making me think of the heart chakra. Now, I don't, I think, I actually think the heart chakra day is Wednesday, is it? Please go ahead and let me know in the description box, but I believe it's Wednesday. But, as I was, you know, channeling the energies of today, um, I was seeing green. I often, I often see colors when I channel um, as an indicator of which direction we're going in in the moment. Um, and what I heard or I, uh, what was spoken was Heart Chakra Day. Um, but again, I, I feel, I don't know if, do they even have days? Because I know um, the planets have like specific days or whatnot, I think it's a Wednesday, but anyway, um, the moment, at least, the moment that we're in is heart-centered, heart-based, heart-chakra-based. Um, we are going through the cosmic heart awakening right now, which is, which has been symbolized, in my readings at least, has been symbolized by the Knight of Cups, living with your heart on your sleeve, um, being vulnerable, being open, living with an open heart and, and expressing yourself with an open heart or from a space of an open heart. And if you're not already in a place to do that, you're learning to do that, you're, you're, the, the universe is guiding you towards that. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, the uh, spirit is just saying that, you know, we're continuing with our heart chakra opening. Um, for some, that could mean change in health regimens, um, dietary things, cutting down on toxins, uh, drinking, smoking, um, being aware of the foods that you're putting in your body. Um, and for some of you, what I'm picking up is, for some of you, this may just be like a small phase where um, maybe you're trying to get balance back um, into your body um, so you may be on a specific diet just for a few moments a few days uh, a week or so in order to regain some sort of balance pH balance maybe in your body I don't know why that came out specifically but for someone that's what's going on 
um, for others of you, this is looking to be something that you're make, trying to make some sort of long-term change, even if it doesn't always look the way it does right now, um, you're starting something. You're getting your body acclimated towards something. You're, there, is a, there are healthy, positive changes in the air with having to do with health, which is a good thing. Okay, one more shuffle for today, Tuesday, February 26th. We're almost done with February, guys. We're almost in March. Like, where is the time going? Okay, let's do it, guys. Let's see what we've got today. The Knight of Wands. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Underneath the deck. Oh, man. We have the Five of Pentacles. All right, so this is already kind of lining up. It's actually, it's already lining up, yeah. With what I was picking up on just a few moments ago with this heart chakra energy, this heart-centered energy. We have the Justice, the, the Knight of Wands, the Magician. We have the Ten of Cups, the Shadow, shadow Work, and the Nine of Wands, and those three are in reverse. But you know what, though? This still resonates as a good thing, even though it's coming from a place of, like, of heartbreak. Obviously, we have the Five of Pentacles here. So it's coming from a place of rejection, um, despair, destitution, feeling a lack or a lack, having a lack mentality or coming forward or coming from a lack mentality, uh, feeling rejected. A lot of this could have to do with the full moon cycle that we just experienced. Because if you can see here on this Five of Pentacles, there is a full moon. Now, what's happening? I'm going to go backwards and I'm going to start with these this second row here. Um, because the first row is where we are right now. The second row is what we're coming out of. So I want to talk about that first. Okay, shadow work. Now, shadow work came up, <coughs> oh gosh, excuse me, shadow work came up a few days ago, um, and I don't, it was, it was before the full moon, but I didn't make the, cor the, the correlation, but we have been in a period of some deep shadow work. I know, I did some really deep shadow work this past weekend, okay, and um, most of it had to do surrounding the energies of the Ten of Cups in reverse, or not achieving that, not achieving or not having that emotional fulfillment. And a lot of it, for me personally, I'll just share my experience to give you guys reference. For me personally, it, w it was things that just came back up that I didn't realize I hadn't really fully processed yet. And I'm not even going to say at this point that it's now fully processed because there's most likely going to be a cycle later on down the road where it all kind of cycles back and I experience it again. I heal from it a little bit more. I learn a little bit more from it. Um, and then you have the Nine of Wands here. The Nine of Wands being that wounded warrior energy so what's happening is with this last round of shadow work that happened there was either potential or many of us that experienced it was able to heal a little more to let go of this fighting aspect um this wounded warrior this this defensiveness this just constantly fighting 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 against the same thing it's now time to put down that sword and in many cases that is what's happened here because all of this is in reverse so this is a release and this is also the past and here's where we are now we have justice 
the Knight of Wands, and the Magician. So, justice has been served in your life in some way. Oh, I don't want to cut that, but oh, there you go. Okay. Justice has been served in some way, or justice is being served. And that could be in you showing up here as this new and improved somewhat energy. Um, very enthusiastic, very passionate, ready to go, ready to get moving, ready to move quickly. Um, and this is not the energy of, you know, wishy-washiness. If there is any sort of swift movement, it is... Um, I guess you could say well accounted for because it's coming from this almost like resurrection energy coming out of this shadow work period, right? And you're moving quickly towards something and you're manifesting the magician. You're manifesting the new in face of the old. This is definitely uh, learning from contrast 1111 learning from contrast situation. If you're wondering what I meant by that, I just saw 1111 on the counter of the video. Um, <coughs> excuse me. This is definitely a situation where you, you learn from the contrast, you've learned from the past, you've experienced a lot from the past, you've come to a new level to now, there's, there's some deeper healing that has happened which has led to this new level for you and now you are manifesting from a truer space within your heart a clearer more open space in your heart which is fantastic and which to be honest what spirit is reminding me or, or how, well, asking me to re remind you all is that this was the goal of diving down into the depths of the muck, we'll say, right? Of 3D existence, getting all tangled up in the, the, di the, the, di the dynamic between the light and the dark, experiencing what it is you, whatever it is you experienced that traumatized you, that hurt you, that wounded you, whatever and then rising back out of it. Very much Phoenix from the Ashes Risen type of energy with a greater perspective, a stronger heart, a stronger soul, a stronger mind, stronger conviction, ready to take on the forces that be. That's really quite awesome. Okay. So now let's move on to some clarification. And because this is very much a Phoenix from the Ashes Risen type energy, this is like the new chapter in your book or maybe an all new book to begin with, I'm gonna be using the Epic Tarot to clarify. Just because it's perfect, because it has Phoenixes in it and the wand suit is the, is the suit of books. You know, so some of y'all get it. <laughs> all right. Excuse me. <clears throat> I'm still getting over, like I'm not like sick anymore, but the stuff is still coming out. <laughs> so I apologize for the sniffling or coughing. I mean, try not to blow my nose because it's gross. <laughs> I'm gonna try not to cough again because it's gross. <laughs> mm. I mean, personally, I enjoy it. This is my favorite part of getting sick. The expulsion. <laughs> anyway, don't, don't mind me, I'm gross. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to do this the same way I did it in the beginning. I'm going to start with all these reversals here, this stuff that we're coming out of in the past, and then I'm going to go into where we are right now. Okay, one more shuffle. So starting with the Ten of Cups, the Shadow Work, and the Nine of Wands all in reverse here. This being the past... The shadow work having to do with the Ten of Cups that was in reverse. So if anything, if we were talking about this being the current energy, the Ten of Cups would remain in reverse, but then shadow work and the Nine of Wands would be 
upright. Well, okay. I mean, maybe the, sh the shadow work would definitely be upright. Maybe the nine of wands might be sideways because part of that shadow work was to, is to remove or release ourselves from this swimming upstream type of energy that the nine of wands tends to represent. Okay. Um, but the, the reversal of the ten of cups is what's really catalyzing or what has really catalyzed this shadow work. What does this reversal of the ten of cups mean? Again, this is the wishes unfulfilled, the unhappy family life, whether that started as a child or that's something that developed as an adult during a certain relationship with your family, um, the desires and the wishes and the dreams and the goals that were never realized the um the heart that was broken whether that be as a child or later on in life um the relationship that never manifested the family that never manifested that kind of stuff right that all led to some pretty deep shadow work here okay so let's get some clarification on that please spirit Oh, thank the Lord. Isn't that just beautiful, guys? <laughs> Underneath the deck, we have the King of Swords. Fucking right. The King of Swords. So, the King of Swords, to me, is the judge. He's very, obje uh, uh, he's very objective. You know, he listens to every report. He listens to all the evidence before he makes his decision. When he's positively aspected, he's level-headed. He doesn't really have any emotion getting caught up in the situation. It's straight up facts. Here, what this symbolizes is the mindset to look at exactly what has happened and to say, okay, I understand why that happened. Okay, I understand why that, why that turned out that way. Okay, I understand why that manifested. I understand what I need to do in order to change that. That's that level-headed energy that is being cultivated, has been cultivated here. And the beauty of it is the only other card that came out face up, well, the only card that came out face up is the world. That's beautiful. Completion. All right? Completion. Let's see what else we have here. Temperance. Excellent. Seven of Wands. Five of Pentacles in reverse. The King of Cups and the Ace of Swords. Gone, y'all. Holy shit, that's fantastic. So temperance. Temperance is patience. You've been patient with yourself, and that's beautiful. Continue being patient with yourself. Don't ever lose this patience with yourself. Now is even more of a time to continue being patient with yourself because things are changing around you, okay? You have the Seven of Wands here, which is, um, which is uh, uh, boundaries, greater boundaries, an understanding of yourself, a desire to protect yourself. And understand the seven of wands really to me, it's very interesting. I've never really felt this type of energy from this card before, but it's saying to me that um, you have a deeper understanding of not only yourself and what you've been through, but the circumstances that you've been through and the people that you've been through with them. So it's almost a compassionate type card here a lot of that compassion is for yourself in the fact that you're trying to have greater boundaries for yourself. That's very interesting, I guess. But you know what, though? It's coupled with the King of Cups that's here. Five of Pentacles is in reverse. So you see how we started with that as the overall energy. Now it's, whoops, now it's reversed. It doesn't even want to stay in my hand because this is not energy that we're willing to entertain any longer. Uh, the biggest one that's coming through with that is destitution. Not willing to entertain any, any, of that, any of that energy any longer. Not willing to believe that's all that you're capable of, that's all that you, you deserve, that's all that you know, that's all that you're ever going to know. Screw that. King of Cups, Ace of Swords. Emotional maturity. Taking responsibility for your life. Seeing things clearly. That aha moment, moving forward with an open heart and an open mind. 
King of Cups, King of Swords. I mean, that is beautiful. Open heart, open mind, ready to go. Okay, so now let's get into this current energy here. Justice, Knight of Wands, and the Magician. What is it that's being manifested here? The Hermit. Wow. Oh, goodness, guys. The Ten of Cups. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa, 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 wow, wow, wow. <laughs> oh my god, that is so many cards. Okay, underneath the deck is the hanged man. So, there is still a little bit of a, of a limbo period that's happening right now, okay? What do we have here? Well, we've got the magician, so you're definitely still manifesting. You've got the star, okay? So this is, um, all right, so this is why... You have the hanged man energy. You have the magician and the star. But the star is talking about um, healing, okay? Healing that's happening, that's allowing you to start your brand new book. Look at that. This is exactly why I wanted to use this deck. Ace of books or ace of wands. Starting a brand new book. Starting a brand new chapter. Starting a brand new life, okay? Have the eight of pentacles with the Hermit, Strength, and the Page of Pentacles. Wow, give me a second, guys, because I just want to look at the rest of this. You also have Death, the Six of Cups, the Ten of Cups, and the Ten of Pentacles. But the Ten of Pentacles is in reverse. I get it. Okay, let's start here. Eight of Pentacles, the Hermit, Strength, and the Page of Pentacles. All right, so definitely starting over, definitely a new level. There's a whole, a lot of restraint um, that's been learned. Um, inner strength has is, has been cultivated, is going to continue to be cultivated. Um, but I do see these two characters, Strength and the Hermit, I do see them as very similar. It's just, at this moment at least, their postures seem very similar to me. This is the same person. This is someone, this is you, potentially. Or if this is not resonating with you, maybe this is someone that, that is um, close to you, that you're connected with. This person has gone through their own trials, their own tribulations. They've gone within, and they've found a great deal of inner strength. Okay? That's beautiful. And because of that, now they are, you are, I guess, or they are doing the work to create a new reality. Page of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles just has been coming out constantly. And that's talking about um, uh, new commitment, honesty, integrity, um, hardworking, especially with this Eight of Pentacles here. Honest reliable, loyal, that kind of energy. But this is like mostly towards yourself and what it is you want to do here in the world, Where, especially with this new energy of this new emergence coming through, right? Of, of breaking through the, 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 you know, the butterfly that's coming out of the cocoon, that kind of energy. You also have death. Okay, death is a major transformation. Actually, this goes here. Death is that transformation that came through, um, came through by going within, facing yourself, facing your inner demons, cultivating your inner strength. All right, there's a little bit of limbo still, though. The hangs man. You have the six of cups, you have the ten of cups, and then you have the ten of pentacles, which is up uh, in reverse. Now. Um, don't get upset. Don't get worried because the Ten of Pentacles in reverse is not a bad thing. What's happening is, first of all, um, there's been a lot of inner child work or just healing from the past. Six of Cups, okay? And then that is leading to a heart chakra or the emotions getting in check getting into alignment with the emotions so that then the time and the effort and the energy and the physical action can be put into place or can be put into 
play um, can start to be taken. The Ten of Pentacles represents time. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> it also represents investment. Investing the time and the energy. It's just not quite time for that yet because we're still dealing with the emotional side of things. We're still dealing with cleaning up the last pieces or the last bits of the heart chakra energy, but it's a, this is a beautiful thing. This is very beautiful. There's still healing that's happening. There's still healing with the star that's happening um, within the heart. And for some, that has a lot to do with the physicality of it. So like literally uh, removing things from your diet, uh, changing up how you care for yourself. Could even be down to, for some, I don't know why this came out, but specifically for some, it could be even down to the way that you speak to or speak of yourself. It's pretty beautiful. Alrighty. So moving forward, we're going to get into the Oracle Guidance section now, starting with the animal spirits. Let's just see. Let's just see what the animals have to say about this message today. Best message for today. Oh boy. We've got a number of them. Okay. This is perfect. Wow, this is a lot, actually. We have beaver, hyena, sea serpent, and oyster. All right. Let's start with beaver. Beaver is water. Here we go. Hard worker. Loyal, tireless, family first. The beaver personality is a welcomed sight. These good-natured and dependable creatures have infinite love and enthusiasm for family and express, express it by way of the earth element, providing a home and financial stability. Although a beaver doesn't usually initiate a project once started, they'll work steadily for weeks, months, or years to see it through. The beaver card appears when the task at hand requires your long-term, steady effort. It can also signify that it's time for some karma yoga, selfless service. When in balance, beaver is happy and does meaningful work. When out of balance, beaver feels useless and worn out. To bring into balance, one must do some physical labor or selfless service. Okay, next we have hyena, which is an interesting one to be, to show up here, but here we go. Hyena, humor, wit, sarcasm. The hyena personality is a jokester and crowd pleaser, but below the surface there are unfulfilled dreams to be realized. When the hyena card appears, it's time to reflect on your reliance on sarcasm and humor to express your truth. Are you using jokes to hide old resentments in relationships or to mask things that you feel uncomfortable discussing? What would happen if you took your goals seriously? And I really do feel like that's what's happening here. All of this shadow work that we've been going through lately has really been a catalyst, a springboard towards taking ourselves seriously. I mean, with this 10 of cups in reverse, it could have, be a, it could have been a situation where you didn't take it seriously in the past or you didn't have enough support as a child to really take things seriously or take the things that you really wanted seriously instead of doing what others wanted you to do. Now is that time. Okay, now is that time. Water, we're going to oyster. There we go. Oyster. Patient, secret keeper, hiding inner treasures. The focus and determination of the oyster is unmatched. Anything an oyster personality puts their mind to, they achieve with grace and charm. The only problem is, oyster types often take their inner gifts for granted. They become shy or doubtful, and this can lead to withdrawing or protecting their deepest desires and life's work. 
When the Oyster card appears, it's important to reveal your inner treasures. What is it you've been hesitant to share? The world is waiting to see. When in balance, Oyster feels blessed, generous, and masterful. When out of balance, Oyster is reluctant, griping, and clams up. To bring into balance, one must share something. Share your gifts with the world. Finally, we have Sea Serpent. Healing emotional wounds, expressing desires. The Sea Serpent represents the energy of expression. Whether it's emotions, creativity, sensuality, or desire, the Sea Serpent helps us move and direct our energy into a healthy current. When the essence of this card is in balance, we express ourselves creatively and sexually without fear or shame. We know what we desire most. Our hearts are at ease and our relationships are meaningful and enduring. We loosen the grip of self-judgment and we let the cool waters of forgiveness in to heal our wounds. When the energy of the sea serpent is not yet activated, our emotions and creativity are left in the muddy waters. The current of expression stagnates in some areas of our lives and in other places it floods. It's important to remember, no matter what the waters of our emotional lives look like, the sea serpent loves us just the same. Like a mother, she wraps herself around us in a gesture of protection. She supports us as we learn to express our true natures. The sea serpent and the second chakra. The subtle energy of the sea serpent occupies the area of the Svadhisthara chakra. Located deep within the pelvic bowl, this chakra is known as our center of creativity and desire and is associated with the water element. Svadhisthana translate as in her own abode, indicating this chakra is the home of the Divine Mother or Kundalini herself. It's quite beautiful, guys. So I was going to stop there, but Spirit is pushing me to close the reading with one card from the Crystal Mandala deck. So that's what we going to do. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Best message, please, Spirit. For today's message. All about emerging from this shadow work a brand new and improved person. One more cycle. Okay. One card, please, Spirit. Best message, please. Best message, please, Spirit. In terms of today's reading. Really? Okay, there it is. Okay. Card number 51. Goddess Isis and Isis Crystal. She shall always prevail. Oops, wrong book, Eric. <laughs> okay. Card number 51. Alrighty, give me just a second here. Just a second. Okay, here we go. She shall always prevail. We bring you the empowerment of she shall always prevail. There is something magnificent in the human spirit when one chooses to believe in oneself. Life rallies to strengthen and encourage it. It is the expression of will to live not from a place of fear of death, but of a brave, divinely defiant boldness that refuses to give up on what matters most. You have had your share of heartbreak and disappointment, and yet, rather than bitterness in your heart, you choose love. You have your moments of doubt and despair, and yet, deep in your heart, you choose to continue on. You have the spirit of Isis in you, and just like the Universal Mother expressing herself through Isis, you too shall prevail. Wow. I'm going to leave it there, you guys. That was kind of perfect. I'm really glad I listened and 
close the reading with that because that was really beautiful. Okay, guys. So there it is. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope everybody has a great day. Um, I am going to be back later on today. I'm going to do happy hour tonight between 6 and uh, starting at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, and I'm going to be getting started on the uh, m the March readings. I was going to try and do start that today. I'm not sure. I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to be able to start it today or not. But it's coming. So just work with me. Okay? I love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. And, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.